Our next story is called Tell the Truth, B.B. Wolf. It's by Judy Sierra, illustrated by J. O. Otto Siebold. Saturday was fix-it-up day at the Villain Villa. The big bad wolf and his chums were sawing and hammering and painting. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Quiet, shouted B.B. Wolf. I have to answer my phone. That was his ringtone. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Hello, said B.B. Wolf. Sure, when? Today? Okay, bye. What's the matter? asked the crocodile. Miss Wonderly invited me to the library. She wants me to tell the story of how I met the three little pigs. I love that story that the troll knew the three little pigs by heart. But I wasn't a hero! You wanted to eat those little piggies, didn't you, cackled the wish. Put a spin on it, Rumple Stillskin suggested. Tell it your own way. Give it a happy ending, advised the crocodile. Everybody expects a happy ending these days. I'll try, said B.B. Wolf, and he hurried to change into his best clothes. At the library, Miss Wonderly led B.B. Wolf to the cozy chair in the story corner. B.B. Wolf started off with a song. Hard luck always follows me and trouble is my middle name. Wrong, squealed a little voice. Your middle name is B-A-D. B.B. Wolf growled and he began again. Hard luck always follows me and trouble is my middle name. Anytime there is a crime, I'm the one to get the blame. I was gathering flowers one morning and I picked a big dandelion puff. I blew on it and whoo, made a big wish. Just then I heard someone shout, you blew down my house. There in the middle of a messy pile of straw stood an angry little piggy. He started chasing me. Tell the truth, B.B. Wolf, when someone in the back of the library. Anyway, B.B. Wolf asked. All of a sudden, I smelled smoke. I followed my nose and found another little piggy playing with matches next to a pile of sticks. <laughs> the sticks were on fire, so I blew on them as hard as I could to put out the fire and the flames. You understand? Was that piggy grateful? No, he charged after me. Isn't that wolf's snout getting longer, asked Pinocchio. I think it is, I think it is, said the little engine. Tell the truth, B.B. Wolf. Okay, mm, um, maybe it was the other way around. Anyway, I ran until I collapsed in front of a little brick house. I was tired and thirsty, so I banged on the door and begged, Please let me come in. From inside the house, a piggy voice answered, Climb on the roof and slide down my chinny-chin chimney. No one is falling for your story, cracked Humpty Dumpty. It's co a cooked-up half-baked tail, snapped the gingerbread boy. Tell the truth, B.B. Wolf. B.B. Wolf let out a dismal huff and a small sad puff. I didn't tell the truth, he groaned. The truth is so embarrassing. And what's important is that I've changed. Really, I have. The three pigs stomped their trotters. Apologize right now, they demanded. B.B. Wolf took a deep breath. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I just can't say it. So I guess I'll have to sing it. Once I was wild and wooly and acted like a bully. Now I'm begging on my knees, little pigs, please forgive me. Well, said the first little pig, I guess we could forgive you. It did happen a long time ago, said the second little pig. But your middle name is still bad, added the third little pig. Goodness gracious.
gracious, exclaimed B.B. Wolf. I need a new middle name, don't I? So he snagged a dictionary from the library shelf and he pawed through the pages. He saw the word benevolent, wanting to help others, beard, bookish, bodacious, bowling, boomerang. Let's see. That's it, said the wolf. From this day forward, I am the one and only big, bodacious, benevolent, bookish wolf. In fact, I'm going to borrow some books right now. Toodaloo, he called to the three pigs. See you in a few weeks. The wolf hurried home. He read and thought and planned and drew a lot of pictures. Those piggies would love their very own mud wallow, commented the crocodile. Why not trim the house with gingerbread, the witch suggested. He and his chums went to work, and in no time at all, the house was finished. Friends, said the former menace. Minutes? Friends, said the former menace. It's not enough for me to say I'm sorry. I have to prove it and repair my reputation. Here is your very own piggyback mansion. the pigs and they began to sing. The wolf was mean and vicious. He thought piggies were delicious. Then he lied and told a story that was wrong and he was sorry. Now he's changed. He stopped pretending. That's a very happy ending. And here they are in the truck. It says fairy, tol fairy tales remodeled. B, 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 wolf and friends. The...